Stop number five on the Casual GTX Cup Series brings us to Darlington, South Carolina. It's the running of the Dodge Challenger 400. <laughs> on the pole for the race, the Daytona 500 winner at 181 miles an hour, Don Pote. Alongside of him, it's Mike Becker in the 43. Row two, <clears throat> a pair of green cars, Ryan Cooper in the 33. And Jeremy Doobie in the 26th, the winner at Atlanta. Row three, Ryan Acosta and Kathy Cantara. Row four has Charles Jackson and Ray Castor. Good running, good starts for the Castor Cantara team. Christopher Martin and Justin Acosta has row five. Row six has Alexander Jones and Zed Weinstein. Row seven, Russ Batson and Colin Cropley. And row eight has Alexander Dawson and Zohar Munhand. Two regulars of the Mountain Dew Racing Series. Speaking of the Mountain Dew Racing Series, the series president, if you will, Don Poteet, will lead him down. Green flag waves, and we are on for the track to touch the tape. Darlington is underway. We tend to see a lot of wall bangers here at Darlington, so if you're in the lead, don't hold your breath. You may get a wall banger game played on you. And Don Pote will lead the first lap. Dylan with a very solid start to the season in the top 10 of the points thus far. Ryan Acosta smacks the wall. He gets the first to have the wall banger game played on him. And it's Dylan Pote leading with Ryan Cooper running in second position now in the 33 car. See if he can play a little wall banger game on Dylan. Says go off into turn number one. Let's see what happens. Yep, here we go. This is how the wall banger game works. Cooper to the inside. Pote on the outside. Dylan smacks the wall. Cooper will take the lead. And there's your wallbanger game. That's how it's played. Charles Jackson runs in the second position right now. Uh, this is not really the only, the only uh, thing Darlington's most famous for in any racing series. Of course, the Pepsi Racing Series. Kendrick Baby the Ford's famous series as we are under caution. We'll see. I'll explain to you the reason a little bit later. Uh, Russ Batson, that's uh, the cause of the crash. He's apparently may have something wrong with his car. Uh, yep, the scent, and that's another Darlington trend in this series. The, the 100 mile an hour slide. And apparently, a little, pro I think the caution came actually, I think, with. Apparently the wallbanger game was played on Alexander Jones. She was got she got it played on her by Jeremy Doobie in the 26th. And now Alexander she keeps off the wall, but when she did that, she gets in she crashes she gets in a 100 mile an hour slide of her own along with Russ Batson. And Alexandra goes right into the wall and turned down the front stretch. Batson got in the wall as well. You want to know what the 100 mile an hour slide feels like? Let's go on board with Alexandra Jones. On board with Alexandra. Alexandra almost stalled her car, and then but she got it. But she got put. She got to put. She put her in gear and got it back going again. So didn't cost Alexander or Russ all that much. But right now it is Ryan Cooper as the leader of the race here, with Charles Jackson running in second position. Third is Dylan Pote. Fourth Chris Martin. Fifth is Ryan Acosta. Then Justin Acosta, Jeremy Duby, Alexander Dawson, Aaron Williams, and Mike Becker, the top ten.
And we, but I think we may get under back under green this time by. I'm not sure. And we will. The pace car is ducked off on the pit road. It is Ryan Cooper, car number 33, out in front. Has the fastest lap of the race so far at 186.832 miles per hour. And that's a bit fast for Darlington, obviously. And here we go. Charles Jackson dives to the inside. He's wasting no time. That number 10 tide ride. He's going to make the pass on Cooper, but Don Poteet hits the wall. Cooper came back to lead that lap. But he backs right off and says, okay, Charles, you're so faster than I am, and I'll let you buy me. And actually, Charles Jackson set the fastest lap of, of the race, not Ryan Cooper. Charles put up a lap of 187.423 in the first laps of the race. So, uh, a lot of cars here looking pretty fast here at Darlington. Now Charles, now Charles Jackson's got a mirror full of Christopher Martin in the 31 Hardy Chevrolet. And, yep, here we go. Here comes the wall banger game. Inside, Jackson hits the wall. Martin takes the lead. Well, I was about to say that was another one of the trends in any YouTube racing series. There's another Darlington trend, which is in the Pepsi racing series of Hendrick Man 54s. And that's the, it comes at the end of the race when the, there's a wall banger game there, but it's the end of the pit wall game. Which is being played when the uh, race ends. And they we're under caution again, now I've probably got that time to, got time to explain that. It might have been the 28 of Keith Batson that spun. Yep, it was. Keith Batson experiences the 100 mile an hour slide. And he's up on the high side. Now, he cannot get down on the bottom. Zohar Munnan goes by. So does Taylor Acosta. He hits the wall right there. And then doesn't quite clear the 30 of Josh Osborne. And Osborne just turns him around and it's smoke coming into the cockpit of Keith Batson's car. And Keith just gently touches the wall. Rides out the spin. And we're going to go on board with Keith. So no harm, no foul for Keith Batson as the yellow comes out for the second time. Christopher Martin has the lead of the race now with Don Poti running in second position. The average speed after 10 laps, a dismal 87 miles per hour. Dismal for this track, at least. <laughs> and the um, pace car slides, I think, maybe off this time by. Yes, it is. So. We get back. We'll have the restart on lap number 15 here at Darlington, and we'll have be halfway through the going of the Dodge Challenger 400. <clears throat> Pace car, I believe, will dive off right about now. Yes, it will. Chevrolet in first, Pontiac in second, and then two Fords, third and fourth, and a Chevrolet in fifth. As the green flag comes down, and Christopher Martin, boy, got a jump on Don Pote. Christopher Martin took off like John Force on that start, or that restart, I should say. But Don, I think, is going to close right in there, the 66 car, as Christopher Martin, who won a race at Rockingham. 
is the latest member to get into the All-Star event. <coughs> and we have officially passed the halfway point. 15 laps are completed and 15 laps are left to go. Charles Jackson has the lead, or a second position, I should say, rather. Has Jeremy Doobie all over his rear end as, as a pair of Fords go ahead for the number two position. Doobie dives to the inside of Jackson, and <coughs> instead of having the wall banger game played on him by Doobie, well, he's going to have one played on him anyway by Justin Acosta. And now. Just like that, he loses two, maybe now three spots as Kathy Kintar in the 22 goes by him. Dougie Shears and Keith Batson, who has who has experienced a little spin outs here. They continue to try to make a go for it. Seth Cole on the high side. Oh yes, spin! has crashed. Alex Tanker has crashed. Taylor Acosta. Seth Cole has crashed. No doubt we are under caution. Don Pote hits the wall. Uh, there's a little wall scraping. Osborne got some damage uh, from the back end. I think he hit the back end of Rachel, of Rachel Williams' car. Let's see what caused the crash right there. It might have been right about there. Yeah, Dylan Pote hits the wall. That allows Alex Tanker to spin, and now some cars get through until about right about Zed Weinstein, maybe. Yep. Oh, and he turns Alex Tanker over. Dylan Pote, or rather Trent Dunham, guess he has a oh Taylor Acosta on two wheels. She got she got all jacked up down to the backstretch, big time. by the 75 of Seth Cole. Let's first look from the copter cam. This is going to be fun. This is real time. To see what it, I want to see what that looked like. For, let's first look from inside Alex Tanker's car. Fasten your seatbelts, everybody, on this one. Well, he got nailed big time by the 21 of Taylor Acosta. Now from Trent Dunham's car. Trent experiences the 100 mile an hour slide himself. They're in the crash. Boy, in Dunham's car, Trent Dunham's car smoking very bad. Let's go on, now we go on board with Taylor Acosta in the 21. Let's see what she saw. Well, I want to see what it looked like, that looked like she got, I mean, she got jacked up from the rear. Look at that, look at this. Oh. It just sends Taylor sideways right there. Now, now let's look for the view of the man who... Nailed her right in the rear end, Seth Cole.
Seth Cole having difficulty getting his car started. Green flag about the wave here and about half a lap. Christopher Martin has the lead here at the Dodge Challenger 400. Jeremy Doobie runs second. Justin Acosta, Ryan Cooper, Kathy Cantara, and Batson, Ray Castor, Colin Cropley, Charles Jackson, and Alexander Doss in the top ten as the green flag waves once again. Can Christopher Martin get a second one of the season? Let's see what happens. And here we go again. Eight laps to go here at Darlington. Martin, Doobie, and Acosta right close together. And Acosta, in this case, is Justin Acosta in the nine car. He dies inside of Jeremy Doobie. Jeremy hits the wall, but keeps second for the time being. Now Justin dives on the inside and says, Well, if you're going to keep it in the wall there, Jeremy, I'm going to go by you. And so does Kathy Cantara and Batson, several of them. And now Acosta, now Jeremy Doobie and Ryan Cooper get caught on the high side. Now, well, actually, Doobie keeps low, finds a line inside behind Ann Batson, one of his teammates. Seven laps to go. Doobie drops back down to the fifth position as Ray Castor and Colin Cropley go at it for the sixth position. And Kathy Cantara gets it up in the wall. Now Castor and Cropley tries to dive inside. The three C's going at it. Actually, make that four if you want to count Colin's first name. Ray Castor going to play a little wall banger game on his on Kathy Cantara. Whoa! He taps Kathy in the back end. And now Colin Crumpley gets a little pressure from Connor Breton in the 18. Pair of three Chevrolets going in for position as we continue to watch this battle. Four laps to go. Christopher Martin looking for his second one of the season. Three to go. Cropley keeps taking a look at the inside now as here comes Justin Acosta. He closes up on Christopher Martin. And Batson right there in the three car as well. Two laps to go here at Darlington. Let's see what happens here. Does Justin make the move to the inside? He doesn't. And Batson thought about it though. In that three car. Here comes Justin dives to the inside. Christopher Martin slams the door. Now Justin dives to the inside of up Christopher Martin, here comes Justin to the inside, and goes up high, and it costs her a spot to Jeremy Doobie, white, down on turn number four, the white flag waves one lap remaining, who's it gonna be? Christopher Martin gets into the wall, Justin Acosta dives to the inside, and Batson's gonna drive her second! Cropley slams the wall now! And that let Christopher Martin drive away. Justin Acosta trying to make it a last-ditch effort. But it's not going to happen. Christopher Martin comes out of corner number four. He wins the Dodge Challenger 400. Survives a final lap scare from Justin Acosta and Ann Badson. What a finish. Boy, Christopher Martin, I swear to goodness, he drove his heart out right in that last laps of his race, man. Average speed, uh, oh, caution's 89.313 miles per hour. 
Christopher Martin wins the race. Justin Acosta second. Ann Batson third. Jeremy Doobie fourth. Right. Connor Breton finishes fifth. His best of the season. Ryan Cooper sixth. Colin Cropley, even with the wall scrape, finishes seventh. His uh, third top ten, I believe, this season. I think. Uh, Jack Richards finishes eighth. Race Caster ninth. And Justin Acosta tenth. Then Sasha Dawson, Charles Jackson, Lisa Shares, Rachel Williams, Alexander Dawson, Ryan Acosta, Kathy Kintara, Mike Duby, Alexander Jones, and Dougie Shares, the top 20. And then right there, so are Munnan in the 28th position. <coughs> and then several cars out of the race due to crashes right uh, and it's due to that big crash, Dylan Pote to lap down in 30th. He's the only only finished only finisher to finish not on the lead lap. So Russ Bassett the rear. Chris Martin for the second race of the season has the has the victory lane here at Darlington, and we'll go to our points chase and see what ha see who is where. Jeremy Doobie now has the lead by 14 points and a tie with Alexander, actually a tie between Justin Acosta, Justin Acosta and Lisa Shears for second. Ryan Acosta's third or fourth position, Connor Breton's fifth, Taylor Acosta drops to sixth, then Sasha Dawson, Ray Caster, Chris Martin, and Alexander Alexander Dawson. Uh, Jack Richards down in 29th position, Colin Cropley back up to, fit, to up to 19th in the points now. And he was down about he was down about maybe he was down about twenty third going into the race. Uh, several guys not having a good start to the season. Keith Batson, uh, Mike Becker, Dalton Day, Josh Osborne, a lot. Of, Zed Weinstein not having a good start to the season neither. And neither is Jasmine Acosta. And neither is Jasmine Acosta, who finished um, in the top five in the points last season. So. Next stop on the tour will be at the Jeff Bird Food City 500 at Bristol, Tennessee when we come back.